Hello, I'm Nicholas of the Bayer, I'm the CMO of Barrett. Um, Nicholas, how did you get this job? Well, I had an interview 10 years ago with the CEO of Barrett. And at that time, it was a small company, 100 people doing Bluetooth carpets. And we, we wanted to branch out of that. So I was hired to actually move Parrot uh, to another business. And the other business, we didn't know what it would be, but it would be around smartphones. What's the mission of the brand? The mission of Parrot Brand is to be fun. That's what we are building. We are building fun drones that are super easy to pilot. And they're really, very really close to toys. Who is the parrot audience? Who is it for? So who is the parrot for? Who is buying this kind of drones? Well, almost everyone. I would say from a teenager to an old age, a guy who can pilot it and can buy it. So there's not really a niche audience. I think everyone is buying one today from photographers to anyone who likes it as a hobby or passion. And we have a lot of new being pilots now. Where are you seeing this content? end up? Like, what are they using it for? Is it recreational? Is it for business? So drones, they require a lot of content. Drones, they require a lot of content. For instance, this good one has an embedded camera. And what you are going to shoot from the uh, uh, yeah, video is going to end up on YouTube, or Slacky, or on Facebook. And that's the way you're going to use your drones, is to share images, to share videos. And for the 40 days, or maybe for business. What's the um, most difficult business obstacle or problem you have right now? So the issue with drones is the fact that when it started, the drones were military. So now they are moving to the civilian business. Everybody can fly it. You just need to register on the FAA website and you can fly it if there's nobody around. If you have an empty space, if you don't fly with people. So ultimately, they take a lot of flying the drones. There are not a lot because uh, you can drop it up higher and with your iPhone or camera forward, it's super easy to pilot. So, I mean, everybody can fly it on today. Yeah. You know, as a company, as a brand, what's your biggest business challenge today? So, as a brand, you know, Parrot is coming from France. Uh, we are a French startup and we are growing in the US, but we're not at the level we want. So, as you can see here with the booth at CES, we are getting bigger, we are hiring a lot of people in the US, and probably I will end up buying advertising because that's the way you do when you want to grow a brand. But brand is also about confidence. So, we are hiring now not only the customer service, so that you get a good experience from the product to after sales. What advice would you give to other startups? You know, there's a lot of startups at this show. Uh, what would advice would you give them? So, as a brand, we are growing. We are 1,000 people company. So, the advice we give to startups who come to CES is clearly to make sure that what you are showing to the price, to the media, is done right. So, the other thing is probably that you need to understand that you want to market your products. You're not just showing them. You're going to use them, to demo them, and to put them in stores. So, it's a real business. It's not just a show for the buzz. So, the best advice is to have a team of people who are very skilled in engineering, business, marketing, after sales, customer service. You need a team to succeed. What mistakes have you made as a brand, and what have you learned from it? Well, the mistakes we did as a brand, for example, with our first product that was flying cross the air drone, it was produced at Vegas six years ago now, and it was a huge success in the US. We sold more in the US than anywhere else in the world. But the brand, the brand was not that great because the product name took over. Like a lot of people in the US who have an album, they own an album, they do not know that Parrot is a brand behind it. So that's why we are saying now, it's a Parrot, it's a brand, but Parrot brand will be on the real here, so we are putting more money on our products. That's a mistake we did. YouTube is key for our company. What we found out is the first users of the air drone, they've been piloting them with their iPad, and guess what? The video footage ended up on YouTube. So at one point, we contacted the guys at Google on YouTube and told them, hey, see all that content, it's exciting. And we ended up buying the home page of YouTube in eight countries to grow our brand and to make the momentum going. But the other thing with YouTube and social media as a whole is most of the time a video done by an advertising company is not always as good as content from the users. Maybe you're going to fly in a place that's really cool and it's better than my advertising because it looks real and it is real. 
So that's a way to use YouTube is user generated content is key when you're seeing a lot of videos uh, done by drones and they get millions of views. But I think it's helping us uh, as a business and it's helping YouTube. Yeah. Where are you seeing the most engagement? Are you also seeing on other social platforms like Instagram, Snapchat, and other places? Well, we're not using Snapchat a lot. We've been using Instagram uh, for the past months and we like it to use it as well as an advertising platform on top of the social media sharing. So we're big fans of Instagram. So in a way, we'd like to have a button at one point when you take photos and they're uploaded to Instagram automatically. Yeah. That would be cool. Any final parting words? Uh, well, we want you to be happy with your power drone. We want you to, to like our products, our brand, our experience, and we're working hard on doing that.